What's up, guys? Oh, Machado Rockstar here. I'm taking on Sun God 007. Woo! And uh, we're going to be... Say hi, Sun God. Hey, what's up? And uh, we're just going to be talking over the phone and discussing our plays. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's educational. Get you a little insight into the thought process, make you a better player. Here we go. Accepting the challenge. Alright, turn one. Alright, let's see here. So, here's the thing. I can get a patrol cutter, which is really good. I get two trade, three damage. Right. Or I can go for the two cards where I get four trade and uh, make you discard a card. Um, sometimes it's good to get you know, multiple cards, but at the same time, I feel like patrol cutter having damage and trade at the same time is something I don't want to give up. I'm thinking the patrol cutter. What do you think? Um, I think an argument can be made for Patrol Cutter. Um, I think an argument can be made for Federation Shuttle, Cargo Craft, for Federation Shuttle, Explorer. Um, personally, uh, I think the reason I would go with Federation Shuttle Cargo Craft is because in all likelihood your next turn um, is only going to have three... It can have max four trade, but probably have That's three. True. So, you want to sort of buy the cards that you can afford right now. Yeah, and I, I can get four trade um, in only two cards. Um, whereas, um, so if I draw those later... Yeah, so I you're, you're also getting twice the two. trade that you would... Um, that being said, the damage is nice, and the potential healing is nice. And um, I think I think either play is fine, but I would probably go with the play that maximizes your trade, because there's also a citadel out there, and you're probably going to want to get the citadel. That's true. I think I think in that case I'll pivot, then I'll do that. Um, let's let me pick the federation shuttle first and see what else drops. The two drops. Okay, yeah. interesting. So now I can choose between Corvette or Cargo Craft. Right. And cargo Craft, I get the two trade, and you discard a card. Corvette, I can take the draw card, card draw and damage but I think at this point in the game it's so early I think I'll be able to get damage later but I think I want that two trade right now yeah yeah I, I, I agree card a card. I agree so I'm gonna go with the cargo crap oh you're such a gentleman thank you <laughs> scrappy dappy oh oh Damn. oh oh <laughs> Anish I never told you I like you mate you're, you're, oh you're, you're a good guy, Sun God. Sun God, man. Mr. Double Hey, Karma, man. I'm expecting you to uh, return to save me. I will. I will. <laughs> Voluntary or involuntary. Hey, you got a you got the patrol cutter that you wanted. That's true. I think uh, I think I will take it. Oh, should I take Corvette? Take the Corvette or ally with my my cargo craft. Yes, but the patrol cutter will will ally with your Fed shuttle, so. And I'll get eight health, so yeah, I think I'm gonna take the patrol cutter. Yeah, I have two scrappers, so extending the game is, or at least trying to kill me, trying to either extend the game or kill me is, is a good thing. Yeah. Well, since I've got all the scraps I need, it's time to get some trade and try to get that, uh, get those big cards that are inevitably coming up here. Uh, of course the internet is fucking shitty right now. Yeah, well, everybody's at home. They can't go out, so... I know, right? So everybody's using it. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have an interesting... I have to think about this one. So, a couple of things. is the aging, aging battleship with Pink because it allies with my uh, cargo craft and it's five damage and draw card. Um, That's true. I either... I think at this point in the game, I either need to, you already got the um, scraps. You have a scrap advantage. Right. If I want to extend the game, I should go for bases or health. Um, that's one way to extend the game, if I want to extend the game. If I right. want to try to kill you fast, then having the agent battleship help. Right. Um, what are your thoughts on this battleship versus command center? Um, so what I would say then is... 
how are you going to beat my scrap advantage? Right? Either you, you base up, heal up to where you're impenetrable, no matter how efficient the deck gets, or you just kill me before my deck becomes efficient. I think given what you already have, like you already have a lot of trade, right? You're already fine on trade. Yeah. I think you should try to kill yeah. me. So I would get the I would I think I think the aging battleship and the kill me fast strategy is the way to beat a scrap strategy. Uh, is a better way to beat a scrap strategy than a heal up base up strategy. Cuz the thing about a base strategy is it takes a long time. And if I have a long yeah. time, then I can have a really scrapped down efficient deck, and that right. usually will just beat up a, a base strategy, uh, unless the base strategy is fully realized. Yeah, I mean there are three bases out here, but no guarantee. Yeah, I'll be getting. You have to keep up that um, brain power. I think I need to do some damage. I don't have a lot of damage right now. I just have a few damage control cutters. I think I'm going to go with the Age of Battleship. And I think that's the move I'm going to make. I'm going to go for that. Yep, I think, I think that's the right idea. Uh -oh. Well, uh, yours truly is going to get that scrapper. And uh, I'm going to snag that Corvette as well. And shoot you in the face. Well, so now I'm going to get a binding there. Try to catch up on the scrap. Yeah. Or I can get a turn in her before the damage. Um, command center, I don't need more train right now. I mean, like, I have three scrappers, so I think... Getting a scrapper for yourself is probably a good idea. Yeah, I don't want to have all the... You, you don't want to fall that far behind. Yeah. Alright. And we're back. Let's see here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, nice. All right. Discard a Viper. Play everything. And put this base on top of my deck. Yeah. Don't need you anymore. Damn. That was a good turn. I need to do something. That was yeah, a very good turn. Yeah, I need turn. to do something. I, I need to do something. You're a little bit in desperation mode now. Okay, so... I... So, looking at what at the board, integration for five hours, <coughs> one trade, I, I don't think it does much for me at this point. Nope. Um, base station, two damage, allies yellow. I've got some yellow cards in my deck. True. Uh, a couple, two. Um... You know, uh, command center. So I think that base station is better than the command center because same level of outpost, you know, four. But I get I get two damage, which is what I need. <coughs> well, I get yeah. protection and damage, which is what I need right now to um, survive and to, to be kind of keep pace. Um, right. So between the two, I think space station would be better than than command center. But we also have um, frontier station on, on board as well, which is six. Uh, the six outposts, and I can choose to get two trade or uh, looks like three damage. I'm thinking maybe the frontier station, um, or well, that's I think I think of the three of the four outposts, I think frontier station is probably the best option for me right now. If I were to choose an outpost, there's one more card on the trade row, which is the predator. It gives me four damage, which I need. It, it would help me. Um, it doesn't really ally with anything in my deck because I don't have a blob. Yeah, but, you know. Probably, but I do need the damage. Uh, and if I select Predator, I can always see what comes under put the trade row. Um, because I'll have four trade left. What are your thoughts on the um, Frontier Station versus Predator and 
what, you know, the other... Well, the Frontier Station is a guaranteed three damage. It's a guaranteed six protection, right? So that's, that's right. good. That's nothing to snipe at. Um, right. Whereas the Space Station, it gives you f most likely four damage, but only four protection. So what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of me scrapping down and then killing you? Or are you afraid of me uh, basing up? Like, like you know, sort of like what is the strategy that I'm employing and how are you countering that? Um, <clears throat> well, I'm afraid of you scrapping down and then killing me. Um, right. Don't, I don't have any bases and I didn't take the base strategy, so I have to kill you. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have the prolonged strategy. Right. You um, cannot play a long game me. at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. the fastest way to kill me is to get damage. And what has the most damage? Predator Space Station. Right. Frontier Station. No, Space Station. Oh, Space Station. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because it's four. That's right. That's right. Um, hmm. That's right, I can do the combo. I can yeah. get the Predator, and then I can get the Space Station. If the Predator wasn't so, there, I would actually say probably yeah. take the Frontier Station. But because you do have the Predator, that allows you to get potentially eight points of damage versus getting only three with the other one. That's true. Let me let me take the Predator and see what comes out. Ooh. Ooh. If you get, if you get that card, that's going to be... See, now you card. definitely want the Space Station. Because now I definitely want you can it. scrap the space station for four, and then potentially get the wrecker later on. Yeah. Am I gonna scrap too much? <laughs> I might. Okay, so five. I can either get the Union Strong. Okay, there's a couple of choices. I can, three choices. I can get Command Center, four outposts to trade. Um, whenever I play a Star and Fire Ship, I get two damage. Uh, integration Port, uh, five outposts. Dude, this, this choice is pretty obvious. Union Stronghold. Dude. I think Union Stronghold because it allies with the yellow yeah. and I get two damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is what I need. I need the damage. And, and potentially getting a five card discard is a way you can win this game. That's true. I'm, I'm actually scrapping down a little too much, so I needed to get some trade so I can actually buy stuff to kill you with. Because <laughs> I'm very efficient, but I'm, I'm almost too efficient right now. <laughs> Ooh, you killed my base. Nice. Killed your base. I've got six trades. Is it worth it to scrap, scrap this? I get two more damage and I can draw two more cards. If I get more trade, I can get the record. I mean, you do want to catch up to me, right? In terms yeah. of scrap. Yeah, I think you definitely should do yeah. that. The Wrecker is so powerful, man. Draw two cards, and lo and behold, I got two scouts. Oh, I was going to say, no scouts! <laughs> that would have been hella funny. Okay. You were like, yeah. what the fuck? So, I definitely think I need to get the Wrecker down. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that's why you, that's why you made the play. That's why you did that, right? Yeah. Yeah, so one, one trade, I'm going to use that. Now I can kill the Citadel, uh, but you're probably out of the scrapping stage now. Um, uh, not necessarily. Two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Frontier Station, light clean here. Oh, fuck. Dangerous. Dangerous time. Well, I think I need to make a push now to try to kill you. Because <laughs> now that you have the Space record, Station. you can catch up. 
I'm thinking space station. Yeah. I get yeah. the damage, I get the output. It, it gives you protection and right and it, it combos back. with your other space station. <laughs> yeah. What do you got here? Ooh, scrap potential. Five damage. All of this scrap and damage is adding up. One discard. Again there. Again there. All right, let's see, what do I want to do? I think I want to keep the damage this time. Play Union Stronghold, play the Cargo Craft. Nice. You can discard, discard two. I get three. Worth it at this point to get the integration? Uh, or Outland Station? I think the Outland oh, Station is probably a little better because that can give you a yeah. card draw and, the he and it heals. Um, yeah. Whereas the integration port just protects. So. Right. I think I'm going to go with the Outland Station. We'll see what happens. I can kill this base, but uh, let's see. We'll discard two, but it depends on what's left in the three. You got that card draw, which helps you negate that discard. Crazy. All right, this is uh, getting, getting. My deck dead. is so efficient now; <laughs> it's ridiculous. At this point. Oh, nice. Two space stations. I potentially have eight more trade, but is it get worth it getting Capital World? No. And you only have seven life. You're gonna die. Life. You're probably gonna die anyway, but you're yeah. gonna die for sure if you don't if you scrap. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got really lucky. <laughs> I think my individual choices were not bad, but... Oh, yeah. Overall, I think, uh... I mean, sometimes you just get lucky. You know what I mean? Like, I got two scrappers right away. I got a third scrapper really fast. It just snowballs. You know? I thought you made... You did, you did all the things that you could have done to try to come back and win, but... Right. It, it, it was pretty unlikely that you were going to win there. <laughs> Alright, so I got two trade. I can get a stinger, get some damage right away, uh, and see what comes up if there's another one drop. Or, I can get a lancer, uh, give you four damage, and then can help later if you get bases. Mm -hmm. um, or I can get an assault pod, which is damage and allies both yellow and green. Um, my initial thought process is maybe I should go for the assault pod because it's yellow green allies, same number of damage as a stinger. Uh, and I don't know where the game is going to go yet, the trade row. Right now, there's, there's, there's two blobs, um, one empire ship, one empire card. Mm -hmm. um, I think getting the assault pod gives you more optionality, right? Um, in terms yeah. Of, uh, definitely. And uh, right now, there's no way for me to buy trade right now. None of these things have trade, so. Well, um, technically, the no, Stinger has one trade on it, but I don't know if that's reliable. You could get an Explorer, too. That That is yeah. an option, but I don't... Or I can explore and try to build up trade against the Federation Battleship, but I don't know where the game is going. But the thing is, do you really want to risk giving me all of this really nice, juicy damage? 
No, I don't want to. If I have five trade, I'm I'm gonna go convoy bot lancer and just start whacking you in the face. You right. know. I think a salt pod is the way to go. I do too. Yeah. The reason is because it, it combos really well, it's it's a potential card draw, and you might pick up a green or yellow card in the future. Right, so you're gonna wanna I'm guessing you're gonna scrap convoy bot, yeah. Yep. Convoy bot. Um argument could be made for me getting going builder bot lancer. Um but uh, the convoy bot is just such a good card. I, I I almost always pick it up for three trade. I think I'll take scrap. I'll take one battle bot to to try to keep up with scrap. I think it's important that I have some of that. But now I've got four trade and my choices are interesting. So I could continue to go. I've got a yellow and green assault pod. Um, I go with the predator, get four damage, uh, and it allies. Or I can go with the lancer, get four damage. It helps against bases, but right now you don't have any bases. Um, you could get the lancer to do some damage, or I could go for the repair bot and double up on the scrap. Is it worth doubling up on the scrap, or do you think I should get the predator because I got some damage? Allies. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards Predator, but again, Scrap is strong, but... Well, uh, you have four trades, so there's no reason you can't yeah. do both. That's true. I could... Yeah, that's true. I, you know what I could do is I could take the Predator to see what drops, and then compare that to the repair block. Yeah. Thinking I could go for the double. I think I that's a good idea. The predator. The, the predator is really strong, because the Predator and the Assault Pod could combo together and give you two card draws. And you still have the opportunity to pick up a second scrapper. I think here I need to take a scrapper. I mean, I could take the finger damage, or should I, should I commit to the blob, to the blob strategy? Well, um, I mean, you kind of already have a blob strategy. You might as well get some scrap to go along with it. That's true. I think it's too early to go all in one direction. Once yeah, and why would you want to ignore yeah. scrap when you can when you can grab it? You got a, oh, you got the stinger and the lances. You're you're going for damage here. This well, point. I have to because you have two rest. scraps on me Our now. Rest. Okay, so here's the interesting. So I've got you know I've got I got two vipers, two scouts, the two trade. I have a trade bot, a builder bot. So I've got uh, yes, builder bot. So I've got potentially three trade here. Um, four. If I play the two trade and then the builder bot, I can scrap a, a viper. Uh, I don't think you can. I think trades. I think the builder bot can only scrap in your discard pile. Oh, that's true. You're right. I can only yeah. So I don't ha I don't have a choice here. Then I, I, you don't have. I, mean, a I don't choice. have to choose between. You, that, yeah, um, yeah. You don't have to choose basically. Yeah. yeah. So this is good. So I think uh, I'll put I'll put everything down. I can't really scrap anything. Nothing in my discard pile. I'll put everything down. Okay, so three trade. Interesting. So, so let's keep freight. Oh, sorry, yeah. Freighter, bait. Cargo pod. The cargo pod allies with my blob. True. Um, I'm not sure if I need trade at this point, though. I mean, I could get the trade to try to get the battleship. And it is allies. Or I go with the freighter bait to try to protect me a little bit keep that away from you because you've got a couple of lancers. What do you think about this trade-off between the trader base and the cargo pod? Well, here's the thing. The fighter base is very good for my deck. Absolutely. It's pretty good for yours, though, because it does combo with the assault pod. It does protect your face a little bit. Getting the cargo pod, though, is going to further your aggressive strategy and will also give you a chance to get the Federation battleship or the death world. So, Cargo Pod is significantly better for your deck, but it also allows me to get a card that's significantly good for my deck. However, if you take the Fighter right. Base, you're, you're making my deck weaker and your deck stronger, but only by a little bit for each one. Whereas, if you get the Cargo Pod, you're making your deck significantly stronger, but you're also making my deck significantly stronger. So, it's a toss-up. It's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. Sometimes it Sometimes the counter pick is good. Yeah. I think in this Sometimes case the cargo pod is the way to go though, just because it it gives you a card draw for both of your card draw blobs. 
whereas the fighter right. base only does it for one. And if you're trying to scrap and kill me, that's the way to go. Yeah. I think I'm going to take the cargo five. Ooh, oh, baby! Hello. Bob Alpha. That's exciting. Yeah, I wonder if you can get it. That's dangerous. Hanging that out there. All right. Your turn. The good thing is, no base here. I am taking some damage. So, you're still at 40. You're not really threatened right now. Okay. I, I It's clear now what I need to do. So I'll play this, scrap it. You, you need and to get I this blob alpha. Trace. Oh no! The blob alpha. The blob alpha, I gotta go. Got to scrap it you have to. Going. You have to. Absolutely. This is the right play for Here's sure. Interesting thing. 100%. Yeah. I've, I've got maybe one scout in my discard pile, probably two scouts left in my deck. So I got a, well, well in, the, in, in my deck yet to draw. So I've got those three scouts, and then I have these four scouts that I just played. Um, I, I, do I, I still want to keep the. The repair block, right? Yeah. I can still scrap down further. Yeah. So I, I don't want to scrap it yet for damage. Yeah. It's too yeah. early. It's too early. So I think I'm going to end my turn after getting that blob alpha. Yep. Okay. You're getting some scrap. Ooh, wrecker. All right. So I'll play the, I'll play the predator and I drew. I'll play the assault pod. Oh no. Let me draw. Two card draw. Wow, that's the combo. That's what you're looking for. Okay. So now I've got four trade, eight damage. Um I don't really I'm not interested in the solar scheme it doesn't help me. I don't think the explorer helps me. Getting the fighter the the is, is it the fighter base? Yeah. yeah the fighter base keeps it away from you. True. And I get a five outpost. Do you think it's worth getting a fighter base? I well, you know, you're, you're starting to get a little low on health, so yeah, I think so. Because yeah. it might it so might be just enough protection to, to keep you alive, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. All my turns are. Fairly straightforward here. Here is where it gets interesting. The cargo pod, builder bot, scrap, scrap a scout my discard pile. Now I've got seven trades. Shit! I think I, I think I gotta go for the record here. I'm trying to yep. scrap and kill. Yep. Um, Death World is nice, but Absolutely. I not of, of, of the Blob base, I don't think it's one of the stronger ones. I think it's Moon and some of the other ones are better. No, Wrecker but is I the play. Wrecker, I think the Wrecker is the way to go. 100%. Yeah, and I can 100%. Yeah. yeah. Because you're, you're trying to get that Blob Alpha. Well, you're trying to cycle that Blob Alpha as many times as possible, and this is how you do it. Yeah. Oh, man, I am screwed. Oh! You're a little hasty there. Um, you should have scrapped all those cards before you moved on, because you don't need them anymore. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it to scrap any more scouts. Nah, you're fine, because you have the wrecker. The wrecker is going to do that for you. That's true. I could have gotten more damage. Yeah, yeah. See, and now you're drawing it again. You're drawing these cards again when you don't need to draw them. Now I'll scrap them. It's a little late, but. A little late, yeah. yeah. Well, now they, now they. Oh my goodness! Never mind. I was gonna say now they wasted your turn, but now your turn is still good. <laughs> it's still a good turn. I think, I think, I think I can get the fight pod, right? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, sure. I, I'd say get this orbital platform too while you're at it. But... All right, I'll get the orbital platform, fight pod. kill, fifteen damage. Will I survive this turn? That's the question. Yeah. We'll find out. It's coming down to the wire. Oh man, <laughs> it's crazy because like you went aggro scrap, so I was like, I had to go aggro scrap. <laughs> this game's just really fast. <laughs> Okay, 
Ugh. Guys, I think I think this you might have this one. Depends on what you got. GG, yeah. brother. GG. Close game, but I think what did that did not getting that scrap that turn probably a, a two card draw that could have gotten. Yep. Something else. Yep. That hurt me. Yep. That was the game. Yep. So how did I know when I need to scrap that? I, in my first turn of going through the magnetic to scrap Well, here's why. When you buy the when you buy the wrecker, um that's all the scrap you need. And so then those scrappers become irrelevant. So you just want to get rid of them at that point. Plus, I was really close to dying, and you were really close to dying. So you don't want to have what happened. You don't want to draw those cards on your next turn. So just get rid of them. Yes. If I, if I had not drawn them, I probably could have won the game. I think you would have run the game. Yes. Because I would have drawn the record sooner. Yeah. One turn earlier. Alright. Let's do one more game. And this time, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to... I just want you to... Okay. You, I want you to have your thought process be clear. I'm going to talk out okay. my thought process, but I want you to have your thought process clear. Okay, so I've got three trade. I've got three awesome blobs here. Uh, blob bot to me is the very clear choice. It's five damage. It's potentially two trade. It's potentially a scrap. It's it's the best card here, definitely. Yeah. Go. Okay. I've got five trade. Um, I get a storage by low two health and three 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 uh you know, kind of a, a base protect me you just got a blob bot that can do three damage um yeah storage or, silo would negate that or there are two blobs out there uh the blur looks really nice five damage uh draw a card with ally and you can scrap to acquire a card to cost four or less than three mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the crusher which is one more damage six and uh ally for two trade um I think I'm going to need to have some damage, uh, and I know these blobs can ally with me, but I want to take, I want to take one of these, the Borrower or the Crusher. Um, on the surface, it looks like Crusher is good because it's better because you have one more damage, and if you have a blob that allies with you trade. Um, but I don't have any more blobs yet, I don't know where the game is going, and I think having the Borrower I still get fire damage. I get still get card draw. I can get card draw by ally later, and it, and I can scrap it later to acquire something. Um, but let me think about that. Do I want to have that later, or do I want to have? It's a good damage card, so do I really want to scrap it so soon for a four or less card? Um, because right now there are two there are two big things out there: factory world and. Uh, Unity Station out there. Um, Unity Station's got scrap and damage. It's good. Um, and Factory World, which is top deck of base. But those are two game-changing cards. Right. And I think having the, having the potential to get trade in the future is important. Um, so I think I'm going to change that and, and go away from Burrow and get the Crusher. I'm going to take the Crusher okay. first. I'm going to see what drops. Now, I still have two trades. I can still get the storage side, though, if I want it. Mm -hmm. Or I can get the Explorer. I think at this point in the game... Uh, well, oh, hold on. So, if I get the storage side, though, it doesn't... I won't be able to get two trade right away because I don't have any other Federation ships. And get two health. It could ally with one of the Patrol Cutter or Factory Wolves later, though. Um, but I should, I should make my decisions based on what's happening now and what could, ha and, and what could happen. Um, so, so this trade-off is get an explore, two more trades, try to bulk up trade and get one of those factory world or unity stations. Or get stored silo, maybe get more trade later. I think, I, I feel I want to get the explore, get some trade, and um, I can scrap a labor for damage. Uh, I think that's a better bet right now. Um, because what did you buy? You bought a blob box. You have damage. 
Well, on the other hand, you have damage, so having some protection is good. It's a tough one, I think. You know, I think floor. Yeah. Um. Let's make a decision, dude. <laughs> yeah. Think, this video is uh, gonna be like two hours long. <laughs> yes. I think. Um, I think I'm gonna get the storage side though. Okay, that's a that's a fair choose choice. Some protection against the damage that you have. Ah oh, man. As, you know, I love the Burrower. It's one of my favorite cards, and I hate to give you um, a card that's that good, but I, I'm taking the Scrap. I'm just, I think Scrap is too important. Scrap and getting trade for something bigger later, I see. Yep. I have to be trade. I, I, I have to take the Burrower right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just too good of a card. It's too good of a card. It's yep. damage. Yep. And two damage and... Take it and don't look back. Turn. Don't look back. So ideally, Swarmer is good because it's going to pair with my other blobs and stuff. And it potentially gives me two trade later with the blob bot. But Patrol Cutter always has two trade. Uh, I could go Swarmer Explorer to... Um, I'm gonna just go aggro. I think that's the right play. Let's go Swarmer Explorer. Oh, ooh, Cargo Craft. Do I want Cargo Craft? No, I want the Explorer. I'm gonna take the Explorer because I can throw it away later. It's a good tip to, um, cards that scrap themselves are really strong because you can get the use out of them that you want and then just get rid of them. And then they're not bloating your deck anymore. Cargo Craft will always be there and always kind of bloat your deck a little bit, unless you're running like a hard yellow strategy. I see. So I've got two trades. I think I can get a cargo craft. I think I want to take the explorer to scrap a bit of the damage. Yep. And hope to go. Hope to get something in the future. Uh, Aging Battleship is an amazing card. I'm going to take it. <laughs> too nice. good to too good to say no to. Okay. All right. So let's see. Oh. Five trade. Nice. Now, do I want a patrol cutter explorer? A patrol cutter contract? <laughs> I can't believe you're debating this right now. <laughs> I can't believe I'm debating this right now. In Pearl Trader, I get three trade and a card draw. Yeah. And you've got two big bases out there. I think i got to get it. Exactly. i got to get that. Come on, man. Oh, man. Good thing I bought a Swarmer. Oh, nice. Shit. All right. Just more scrap. Woohoo! More scrap. All right, that's that's our that's our win con now. It's just all scrappy deppy. Draws have been tough for me here. I think you're scrapping. My deck's gonna get chunky. I'm thinking I need to get a bait. I need to get a old little platform. Yep. Versus a patrol cutter or a cargo craft. I need to I need to pivot a little bit because I don't have scrap. Yep. Yep. Excellent decision, sir. I'm way behind in scrap and light. Uh, this is getting this is getting dicey right now. <laughs> it is getting dicey. I'm not drawing, I'm not drawing my blobs together. Uh, if that's the case. Do I want to scrap my borrower, take a patrol cutter or stinger for free, and see what comes down to get more cards? No way. Borrower's too good. Why no. would you get rid of it? Yeah. I should I should take the stinger, take some damage, right? And yeah. And see what else drops. Yeah. Exactly. Now I have four Ooh. trades. Do I take the patrol cutter? Or, um, I mean, it does combo with your your uh, your storage silo. Base for that. Yeah. 
get trading. It needs to get some damage out of it. Yeah, you do have to worry about your life total a little bit here. Yeah. I think I go for the patrol cutter. Yep. Yep, definitely. I think I scrapped his. Yep, definitely. You, you, you gotta try. You gotta try to kill me too, right? Very dicey here. Yeah, he's just the Federation creature. Yeah. Away from me. I, I gotta. I gotta keep you from healing, right? Yeah, it's gonna be very hard for me here. Oh wow. Um, I, I think jamming terminal. Yeah. Has to be. Or, 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 may, oh, never mind. You already bought it. Um, or light cruiser, light cruiser. Uh, no, I mean, I, I looked at your deck. I, I think damning terminal is the way to go, yeah. Light cruiser is also a consideration. Yeah, these, these draws are really... This is the advantage when you, when, when you have scrap. You don't have load. Um, uh, don't have yeah. Yeah, well, when you have scrap, you, all, all your draws are good, usually. I'm grabbing that so I can kill his... I can get extra damage on his bases. Ooh. I think I need to take Destroyer Boss. Get some damage. Or... Or... No, 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 hold on. I can get Crusher. There's with my block. See what drops. I think that's better. It's probably too late to scrap Destroyer at this point. <laughs> yeah. I can get Crusher, two drop. Do I buy anything or no? Let it go. Uh, do you know what? The Alliance Transport is not a bad card because it can heal you and it can make me discard. That's true. It I actually does combos it. pretty well. But I think things are pretty dicey now for me. I'm not liking your chances. Not liking your current chance? Your, your chances. Yeah, my chances are swim. Go for the gusto here. Wow, you almost won! Yeah. Holy do I shit! Now? No, no, of course not. No, now. no, it's it's no. a good card. Why would you do it? What are you gonna scrap it for? I... True. Yeah. Almost. Well. But close, but no cigar. Here's the thing, dude. <laughs> I have exactly lethal. But, but, I had I had all scouts, aside from the lethal. So you, you absolutely played the game correctly, perfectly. That's the way, you know, you just... Every decision you made was really good. I, I just scrapped down really hard and, and got lucky. Yeah, I think I just didn't draw those, those blobs together early enough. I yeah. didn't draw the, the cards together early enough and, so and and yeah, and it's tough because I had scrap and you didn't, you know, and it allowed me to to get my cards closer together and combo and, and win the game. You know, if you picked up one or two more scrappers or at least timed the scrap a little better, um, and not because you know there's anything wrong with your timing, it's just sometimes you don't draw the scrappers when they can actually scrap stuff. Uh, I think you would have won for sure, but you know what can I say? Lucky turn. Alrighty. I think that's going to make for an excellent video, guys. I'll see y'all later.